This is part 2 of my tutorial game for Cyberpunk Red. My players using pre-gen characters, you may want to watch part 1 before proceeding. This is their story in Night City, so please enjoy. After securing the package, we called in some backup, just in case things get dicey. It didn't take too long for a custom compact van to arrive along the dirt road. The dust settles and the van door opens up to reveal two other edge runners. Mover, the solo, and Roadkill, our nomad driver. With some hearty greetings and a short briefing of our current circumstances, we drove back to Night City. The meeting point was at the abandoned industrial district in Haywood. From what we know, that area is a place where hoodlums and other unsavory gonks tend to hang out. We aren't sure if this is some trap, but they are gonna have to deal with six armed edge runners. We arrived 20 minutes before the expected meet. Here, our solo takes the opportunity to scout the area. Climbing one of the abandoned apartment installations, he reaches the rooftop to spot our contact next to a vehicle. He is covered in some hooded parka. On the other hand, he also spots several dark individuals taking positions in the alleyways. Mover reports this back to the team and maintains his position with an assault rifle to cover for us. We decided to meet this so-called contact. I took the lead on this one. Maybe my rocker boy charm can get us some intel and give us an advantage. I step forward, the platinum package on hand, and the contact with a black briefcase on his. He asks for the package immediately. I didn't like his tone, so in a face down, I asked where Laszlo was. The face down ended up as a tie, and he didn't reveal much. But he did kick the back of the trunk as we heard Laszlo's muffled voice inside. We decided to go for the exchange. He fumbled with his briefcase, some sort of signal. The solo confirmed as those dark individuals were boxing us in and taking positions at the exits of the alleyway. The contact showed a briefcase full of eddies, but he got a bad feeling from this whole thing. Then I pulled my handgun on him as a threat. Boy, did that not go as planned. We heard someone at the back yell, She's got a gun! Take her down! Everyone, move in! It was then that we saw the contact was wearing an NCPD uniform and badge. We were surrounded by lawmen. Mover opened fire from above as we took cover and started blasting at them too. But we were outgunned and outnumbered. Our tech and nutrunner went for the vehicle with Laszlo at the back and tried to get it to start. Maybe we can ram our way through. I went to the side of the car and gained cover and started shooting at the lawman who I threatened. I dropped the platinum package with our med deck so they could get it out safely. Unfortunately, during the shootout, three of the lawmen had cornered our med tech and nomad and managed to grab the platinum package I dropped with them. The solo had problems of his own. One of the bigger lawmen had climbed up to his position and tackled him. The netrunner and tech managed to finally get the car operating, but not without getting shot up. I managed to kill the lawman with the briefcase of eddies before running for the vehicle. Everyone else did too. At this point, with the tech on the driver's seat, he floored the accelerator to get us out of the shootout. Our solo who had even managed to break away from his attacker and leapt for the moving vehicle, allowing all of us to get away. During the scuffle, the lawman I flatlined had the briefcase of eddies which I managed to nab during our getaway. We made it out of the industrial district and transferred over to Roadkill's van. We were bleeding out pretty badly, luckily our med tech was around to give us a quick fix. As we were speeding through this night city, something caught up with us. A single slick black NCPD motorbike with a lawman at the drive. He was different from the other ones. 
This guy looked mean, more armored and Kevlar with a three scoped visor helmet. Roadkill stepped on the accelerator to try and lose him in traffic, but man was this guy fast. He connected his interface to the motorbike and activated an autopilot function. He grabbed his assault rifle and started firing at our vehicle. But Roadkill is no chump on the road. With every sharp turn and maneuver, he managed to keep the van going at a good pace. The rest of us shot at our pursuer with whatever guns and ammo left. It looked like the lawman was going to catch up when a lucky shot had struck the bike, leading it to tumble, crash, and burn. You could see him crawl out of the flames with one leg missing and his silhouette getting farther away. We were home free. We then released Laszlo who was still tied up at the vac. We were in a hurry, so when we transferred to the van, we decided to just throw Laszlo in. He couldn't complain much, as we managed to get away alive. Turns out, someone had intercepted his message with a real contact, and found his hidey hole. It looks like our base was compromised, and with our mugs seen by the authorities, we were going to be wanted by NCPD. And I lay low from now on, and worst of all, the briefcase we took was filled with counterfeit eddies. Our big payday was a bust. But that was Night City for ya. Laszlo decided to try for El Coyote Coho at the Glen in Haywood. Maybe find some new business there. Well, we decided to split and not show our faces in Night City till this whole thing blows over. It was one hell of a night. And who knows? This little stunt of ours with NCBD may have gotten us a legendary tale in Night City. Well, a girl can hope. This is Forty, signing off.